I have a question. Let's suppose somebody is a brand new. He's brand new from the college. It's just recent graduate, and he or she want to go in artificial intelligence field. What should they do? Yeah. First is don't be afraid of this technology. I will tell you. I have a kid. His name is uh, Arya Metre, and he is he is so intelligent. I have not ever till now. I have not seen any algorithm or any robot intelligent like he is. And if you take any human human baby, they are so intelligent, and we are so intelligent. Uh, but I don't know when we become elder, we start polluting our body, our mind, uh, and we are not intuitive. But being intuitive, creative, innovative is a super, super, super skill which we have got inbuilt. So we don't have to do anything. It is just we need to focus on right things, which is first understand AI concepts. What are AI concepts? Think from 360 view. What is AI? It is not what I said. But you go to different authors, you go and study Alan Turing, you study Marvick McKenzie, you study other people uh, who have dedicated their life. And I really have a gratitude for them because uh, Marvick McKenzie has spent his 70 years on AI. You know, Alan Turing, he was like, he, uh, the government gave him poison. Uh, but this guy was so intelligent. Like, uh, and he, he broke the Enigma code. And you know, 70, 50, 70 years back, they did so much of work and it is a 70 years old technology. And it is nothing than having step to step process to solve a specific problem. So AI is anything which uh, like whatever you do, whether suppose I will tell you one example. Suppose you want to make a cup of coffee. So you mm -hmm. go, you need a gas, you need a pan, you need a store, you need a coffee, you need a water, you need uh, milk. How you're doing it, step And step. sugar. And sugar. And <laughs> then you put them in a sequence manner. That's algorithm. Okay. And then when you solve this problem and uh, like you go and give a cup of coffee to somebody. So you created a solution out of it. If you want to program it, you can do that. And that is creating an algorithm and solving a specific problem. And this is how you can apply this concept to anything else. Super. Whatever is there. If you go and do this. And for that, do you need to learn? Uh, do you, if you want to make a cup of coffee, you need to learn the steps and experience. So when you practice, you will learn. So same way, if you want to learn AI, you just know the concepts. Then one is AI concepts. You need to learn a language with which you are comfortable. I think Python will be a good language. It is like English language kind of thing. It, it is not that complicated like C, little. You can start with Python. Develop some projects which are on GitHub. You can go on GitHub and uh, see how it is done. Get similar to like try to know things. And then go and learn about stat, statics and then data science concepts, linear algebra, little bit, the basic Super. mathematics, Super. AI, basic mathematics, data science, <laughs> and uh, uh, then you can learn a little bit about R. You can go and learn about uh, machine learning concepts. And it is it is beautiful to watch a small baby, how he, he, he makes his own algorithms. So you will learn from that uh, data structures. You will see how they take steps and they are very intuitive. And from life you will learn. It's all around us. It is just we need to have those eyes to see those specific steps, detailed steps to achieve that objective. And then you relate that with the knowledge which you learn. Like when you're designing algorithm, a data structure algorithm, when you, you get a lot of data and you make inference out of it and then make solution out of it and these are different dots. Like you have data science, you have uh, uh, data structures, you have AI concepts, you have machine learning concepts, uh, and then you have uh, you have got data. Uh, you design algorithms, and you go, you learn all these Bayesian network and all uh, neural network, deep le deep learning, and 
these, these dots, then you connect them this way, you will be called artificial intelligence engineer and scientist. If you keep becoming lifelong learner and keep learning all these things, and you will have ontological, and let me explain ontology. Ontology means knowledge of knowledges. One is knowledge. Meta knowledge. Is knowledge of knowledges. So Great. that's called ontology, and it is Super. like, yeah, yeah. So that's what. So we... what an amazing roadmap, Noble, you have shared. Somebody want to become an artificial intelligence, they have to focus on algorithm. They have to learn the programming like Python, R programming. They they can go in machine learning, data science. There is a family. And in that family, we have different, different members like machine learning, Python, R programming, yeah, data science. Yeah, yeah. Every, every single thing, they are a family member. And if you want to become the head of the family, you have to learn step by step. Great. Yeah. And it is like what I will tell you. Like our body, we have head, we have eyes, we have ears, we have lips, we have nose, we have arms, we have chest, we have heart, we have lungs, we have legs, we have feet, we have nerves, we have... So this is AI, but those are the con components, machine learning. Machine learning can be mined as an analytical kind of thing. And data, the data which we see. Data is Great. not only numbers, it is the light also, photons, pictures. Super, super. Down. Great.